So, folks, it's come to my attention that um, a trade having to do with the Marlins has happened. I never thought I'd hear those two words together, but apparently it has. Brad Ziegler has been traded to the Diamondbacks for, I, I mean, I don't know the, the return. I don't know if it's been out. Yeah, I'm sorry if it's out and I'm just chatting shit here. But he could be, I mean, we could trade him for a Cuban sandwich and a beer and I'll be fine. Because this guy needed to go. I don't like Brad Ziegler. I might, you know, he might be a good person and all that. But a good person does not win any ball games, Or does not save, save us any ball games. Because you know what? He has been so inconsistent. There's times where he's really good. But there's more. <laughs> this outweighs that. That he is just shit. He is just, he can't. He, he can't. He can't. He can't. You know, that game where I think it was the, the game where we lost to the Braves when they made like a 6-1 comeback or something more. I don't know. He's the main, He was the main guy that started. Like It was so frustrating to see, man. And it's so sad because he's a veteran arm. You know, he's, he's supposed to be that, that, that guy in the clubhouse that you don't mess with. He's supposed to be that guy in the clubhouse that you, you know, you carry around his stuff because, you know, he's been here for so long. And it just hasn't been that way this season. This season has been kind of weird for him. He's only gotten, I mean, so far he's gotten 10 saves, which is kind of his total from last season. And he could get more. But I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of happy that he's been traded. Kind of not because we do need that arm in the pen. But, uh, yeah, that uh, regarding my main man, Brad Ziegler, thank you for what you've done for the Marlins or lack of. Uh, I hope you do good. I mean, and you know, I hope you do good with with the D-backs. You know, you're very, very familiar with the Diamondbacks, so you're kind of going back home. Um, you know, I think at this point, I think this trade was kind of as a way for him to kind of just go out on a high horse and go out with the team that he's been playing for a while. And um, thank you for everything you've done, man. Because before the Marlins, this guy wasn't. This guy was amazing. Brad Ziegler was amazing, man, and it's kind of sad to see that now he's on, the, you know, he's on the the decline of his career, and um, it's it's kind of sad to see that when you know someone you've seen for a while just going out like that. But uh, I hope you know I wish him the best in the D-backs. Uh, I hope whoever comes back, you know, whoever comes back from the trade, I mean, it's, it probably might be some um international like the you know the the money and all that pool money, whatever. It might be that, but if it's a player, I hope we get someone. That uh, is ready to work because I know for, for one thing I know about the Martin the Phillies that they put him to work for sure. You know, kind of you know we have we have one of the most, in my opinion, this could be wrong. We have one of the most you know talented top thirty prospects in my opinion. We have Izan Diaz, Monte Harrison, Jor Jordan Yamamoto. We have um, uh, we have just a bunch of guys: Connor Scott, uh, Will Will Banfield, who we just drafted. We have a lot of guys that could come up, you know, could potentially come up to the big league club and make some noise. So I uh, hope that happens. And uh, yeah, this is not going to be the only video of the day because from what I'm hearing, the Marlins aren't done yet. That's uh, that's what I'm hearing. So that means we're going to be more videos on this and hopefully you guys stick around and enjoy this. So I'll see you guys next time. It's been your boy Rezzy. Peace. All right. The meeting's over, guys. Thank you very much.